race now. He's about to go against the best of the Soviet heavyweights, Igor Vysotsky, who twice was good enough to defeat Teofilo Stevenson, the heralded heavyweight of Cuba. Mohamed Tako. Well, I'm a little tired now. I understand this was the best man that saved him for last. I'm um, going into my rope rope style, letting him throw most of the punches because this is his first round of my fifth round. Uh, I think later on we threw a few good punches, but I'm not really in top shape and I didn't want to really take no shots at these fellas or try to hurt them because they didn't have any headbutts on. They are amateurs. This is the first time a professional has ever been allowed to compete uh, before a crowd, or especially a paid crowd in the Soviet Union, a communist country against an amateur. So I didn't want to really do nothing to make him say, well, see, that professional shouldn't have fought him. He hurt him. So the point just... I'd like to make, Mohammed, excuse me for just a second, is these men are really the equivalent, though, of our professionals because they don't turn professional in the American sense of the word. And yeah, so... Yeah, physically, but not experience-wise. These are really good amateurs. They never fought over three rounds, but they're just older amateurs and more stronger. But they're not really experienced. And, uh... But they're good. They keep coming. Vysotsky is a very quick-handed but short-arm fighter. Very quick right, short arms, and, and but he hits real hard. I think I opened up a couple of times in a corner, and we'll look and see when I did, but I don't. I think I opened up, got a few shots in. I don't hear them whistling. There he's got me in a corner. Uh, I'm watching myself. I don't want, as I said earlier, get cut, uh, get a cut limp or a bloody nose or uh, something because I got this fight coming with Spinks and we got small gloves on 10 ounces, no head guards. Use as uh, exhibitions, you were a head guard. But they made this look as much like a fight as they could to make it attractive. The gloves are small and there's no head guard and it gives the people the idea that it's really a fight. So, so I had to be real careful and make sure I didn't get no cuts or bruises. Watching Vysotsky, it looked to me like he took this seriously. He wanted to... Well, they were serious. They were serious. And it's more serious than it looks. Looking at it, you can't really tell. Like being in that field... Now he's going to your midriff. By thinking this, uh, this round, I didn't do too much. Just stalking him and making him throw the punches first. Get him set up to where when the second round comes. There are a couple of good jabs I landed. Now again, you're in the corner, the rope dope And this kid, with those quick hands, moves from go. the head to the stomach. Look at There's this. There's a couple of them. Rock him. There you go. I'm kind of doing a little to him there now. And there was a good little slug out for a minute or two. He caught a few good ones. I caught a few. Well, but if I had one of these guys for 10 or 12 rounds or 15 rounds, I think you could then see the professional ability come out, but they're good for two or three rounds. Okay, we'll be back with round two. Ali against Vysotsky in a moment. Ali fighting his sixth round and admittedly out of shape. Muhammad, take over. Right now, as you said, I'm out of shape. This is sixth round. I still uh, manage enough to must up enough to at least go the distance and look halfway decent with a pretty good fighter. Right now he's throwing a lot of body punches, and my thing is to stay in front of him, don't get cut or get hurt. Mainly, just let him throw most of the punches because he's got a lot of enthusiasm, he's fresh and I'm, this is his second round, my sixth round. And I might, in the end, throw a few blows, but I'm really tired, Howard. I'm so tired now, I wanna just go ahead and call it a day, but the people are there, I realize you're gonna be talking, and it's gonna be on your show, and I'm managing to just just go through this thing. Six or two million rounds is enough to tire anybody, even good fighters that are young and in shape. So I'm just stalling and just letting time go by and filling them out, and after a few rounds, a few more seconds, I might try to throw one or two punches. If you keep watching, I might throw one or two quick punches. I might land one or two just to keep something happening, but that's about all. resemblance between Vysotsky and Leon Spinks. No resemblance and no resemblance between me, the way I'm gonna look that night to right now. I'm not moving right now, I'm not dancing, I'm not doing too many punches. I'm just stalling for time. This guy's got a lot of energy. And for me to 
try to move with him. Here I might throw one or two little punches. For me to try to move with him, I'd have to move a little faster than him, and that's kind of hard to do. This is a young man here, and as I say, it's the second round and my sixth round, so I just come with the right hand now. Well, you brought the place yeah. to life with that quick yeah, overhand right. There's, there's another left, there's another left. There's another one where I missed him. There's a one, two, right hand just caught him. Left hook, two left hooks. One, two points just barely down. The American Marines are shouting Ali, Ali. In the past, this gave me a little extra energy, but it won't do too much. One, two points just caught him. The referee just won him from a button and too close, button heads. Bullet is still virtually unmarked after all the years. I must say. I'm real lucky, Howard. I got the, some people got sharp bones and sharp features, and they cut easy. I will, the features are flat, and I don't cut too easy. I just hit with a good left hook, left jab. He missed the right. I missed the right. We're coming to the end of your action against Vysotsky. And I think you've characterized yourself pretty honestly. There I'm coming in in no condition. 234 pounds, probably I should be 250. There's the American Embassy there, some Marines waving the American flag, I was glad to see them. I was in no condition, eating all that apple turnover, and no training, no running, but I had to do something. The people heard about me, they wanted to see me box. They got three of the best Russians ready, and I had to do a little bluffing and act like I'm in shape, but how I'm in no condition. But I boxed three of the best fighters in the Soviet Union. That was the first one. Fought each of them two rounds. The first one right there is Piotr Zayev. And he's a tough one. And we're going to show you in the second of the two rounds right there. Take there over I'm again. I'm throwing a few jabs, a few right hands, and trying to do what I can for experience. But the guys are really tough. And a couple of them got the best of them. I landed three punches. And because you see, they're hard, and they just keep coming. Just landing the hard right hand. They're hard, and they just keep coming. And I just had to go from experience and skill and natural ability. But I didn't look too bad, but still, I would have to really train if I wanted to box one of these guys for a decision and try to beat him, I wouldn't have to get in much better shape than I knew. This was just an exhibition, of course, no scoring, but... I want to say that I'm the first professional in the history of the Soviet Union, a communist country, about professionals not allowed to do nothing in Russia. And they charge people to come in to see this and to go to sports club, the money, but I'm the first professional ever allowed to fight a Russian amateur in anything. I've got to be honest with you, Muhammad. You are flat-footed there. You look huge, That's almost right, misshapen, and yeah. you've got a fight September 15th. Oh, how would I got 10 weeks ago? I'm in no shape. I'm, I'm never shaped 10, 10 weeks ago. But watch him throw his mini punches, land his mini with this young, good Russian amateur. And for my weight, no condition, no training, traveling, sleeps off, traveling, no good food, no training. I'm doing pretty good. I've got to save minutes because i got two more fighters to fight after this. And the third fella is the one to beat this Stevenson from Cuba. Knocked out Stevenson and also deceived him. And I have to save that energy for that too. Well, that's true. This fella, by the way, Zayev, is not that young. You know, in the Soviet Union, they don't turn professional in the American sense of the word. And the so their guy, fighters the old, are experienced. The oldest guy is 28. And that's young compared to 36. The oldest one is 28. The ones I, I wish I was 28 again. <laughs> Impossible. As you home. see, I'm stalking him, throwing jabs, and flipping him out, and I think that's the end of that one. That's the end of that one. That was you against Zeb as he comes over, and quite a gentleman every day, and tells you how much he enjoyed it. Thank you. But now you've got another toughie coming up as we look quickly at some of the dignitaries at ringside. That man, Evgeny Goska. He He's was in a wide world a number of times. Yeah, Long arm fight, a good leg. Tall, has a lot of reach. And I came out dancing, I think, the first round. Uh, this is the second round. This is from the second round. Second, oh, second round. I came out doing a little moving, uh, feeling around, but I couldn't keep this up too long because I was a little tired, no condition. I'm doing a, some of the Ali stuff just for a few minutes, a few seconds, rather. And uh, he had a long, he was hard to hit. And we had no head guards on. I didn't want to get cut or hurt from the fight. I have this fight coming to the streets, and it's easy to probably get a cut or a thumb in the eye or something, so I had to be extra careful. 
These guys have a long reach, and he's throwing a lot of body punches and head punches to the body and the face. He was off putting the wooden too easy to hit. And much younger than I am. But he's and getting he, that uh, left in on you. Yes, which in training. the old days would have been impossible. No, so I caught some, some of them, but not as many as I'm catching now. And it'd be impossible for him to uh, do this the night I fight Spinks. I'd be so down and in such good shape. I'd be much better. Right now, I'm going to a local group style. People are wrestling. That means boo. They don't boo with the boo you. Yeah, because of me just walking there and not really throwing too many punches and just taking them. But I'm in there, not them, so I do what I want to do. This kid isn't too bad. He knows how to work to the belly when he can't get through the rope a dope. But you're giving up on that rope a dope. Spinks massacred it. Well, yeah, I won't say what I'm going to do. Just have to come to the Superdome to see. I'll save it for surprise to you and Mrs. Spinks. But we will be the first man to gain the title back for the third time. I have something to fight for now. I'll be the first man to gain it back for the third time. I promise you. I will return it. Or I shall return it. Whatever's proper. Mm -hmm. This guy's still General going. McArthur. He's doing a lot of punching. He's moving. They don't get too tired because I understand they trained two months for this. The hell was coming and they got in shape for it. Well, I didn't really take it serious. I get in shape. But I had to make myself do things I wasn't conditioned to do. And I was really sore the next morning after this little exhibition. I must say, you just got a quick combination. But you're missing so much. As you did against Jimmy Young, and as you did against the sitting duck of Angelis. And I miss a lot of times, Howard. But the main thing I'm still on your show, I'm still here. Out of all your criticism, all of your talking, Foom is gone, Frazier is gone, Young is gone, Norton is gone. I'm still here. You know, that's, Why is that? that's a little piece of logic. I ain't, can't ain't predict that, that. Ain't that something? I'm still here and everybody's gone. Yeah, but you used to be so great. I used to have hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> now we're it's approaching the end of this be. round against Evgeny Goskov. And Goskov has to be accredited as the second best Soviet heavyweight. The end of the round. Now. Ali fought two rounds against Igor Vysotsky, whom we've discussed. We'll be back with both of those rounds in a minute. 